Viv, what are your initial thoughts after that game? No, I was, uh, I think I've been a nice game. So we start really well and after for, um, yeah, the flex is so difficult Madrid because they defend really well and the pace they have up front is unbelievable. So always you can see transitions again, that team is impossible to control it. First half, we're a little bit anxious with the ball. After 2-1, we, we, lose, we lose a lot of balls and players that normally don't use. And when that's happening, that team is so difficult to, to avoid it. But uh, the second half, we, we show our incredible personality in the way we played. Because it's 2-1 is risk. You can see another goal, another transition. To come back with 3-1 for 1 in Manchester will be difficult. And we continue, we continue playing with a lot, a lot of composer, much better than the first half. We make a two fantastic goals with Phil and, and Jorge and Josco. And yeah, at the end, Madrid, you know, you are 76, 77 minutes in this stadium, boo, it's eternity. So we knew it and yeah, 3-3, three, three, we take it. We have to win a game. We win a game to, to qualify for semi-finals. To go one all up within two minutes, to then have two deflections within four minutes, is that just unlucky? Uh, <coughs> well... I don't know. I don't believe much in the lucky and lucky in football. Sometimes what happens happens to happen. So, but this is true that one zero and but you know, score one zero in Bernabeu is still a lot of things have to happen. What did you ask at half time? Because your team came out in the second half and really seemed to dominate possession in those early stages. Yeah, be more calm, move less, and be more safer with the ball. Attack uh, outside and uh, and you know, be exactly what. What we, we talk and, and I said guys it's 45 minutes and 90 minutes so a lot of minutes still to play so don't lose especially you know the composer have to do because sometimes you want to be crazy and and they did it <laughs> they did really well just go Guardiola not only passed a late fitness test scored an absolutely brilliant goal you must be delighted that it's his first for Manchester City we were lucky that uh, he's with us and could play today otherwise it will be so difficult because we don't have players in the back and make an incredible effort and not just the goal has been amazing the way he played he played really really good so he's a lovely guy so we are so happy to have him Phil Foden came off with injury is he okay it wasn't knocked I was grumpy with me because I make uh, substitutions but uh, uh, yeah, make an fantastic goal. And look, it's finally poised. You know what happened last season when you took it back home. It's the belief there, you can do it again. We'll have to win the game. We'll not be like season, but we have our people. Our people is there. Uh, we'll be sold out. And uh, we need all of them, the energy, during 95 minutes to try to beat the king of this competition. With our people in, in Manchester, we'll go for it. And... Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, the people will be there. They, they will score one goal, that's for sure. Pep, thanks so much for them.